Hello and welcome to Kamsa's Medic tutorial. This one will have a look at positions and position window. So up to the right we got the first six palettes from AC Reach, I guess. And down here are the tilt and panning bones. At the moment the movement for the mythos are showing up uh, in, as like in 8-bit values because the movement range isn't defined in the head file. To define that go to patch and edit the head file. In other params you want to type give it values for the range. So now the movement is showing up in degrees instead, which is easy to work with. So let's move this to around 90. To access the fine movement, you either press this button over here or hold down shift when moving in total. So record that. To fan movement, you want to press the fan button over here. But this is a selection of six and fixtures uh, with that are in like a four by four grid layout. So when pan fan panning, it doesn't really look that good. So perhaps we would like the fan to be applied to each row, and each row is uh, four heads. So what we want, so we we're going to use something called parts. So we're going to type four, hold on this button, and and parts. So um, this means that it will divide the selection into parts of four, like uh, so, me kind of mini groups, I guess. So when we're panning now, it looks a lot better. Uh, so we're gonna record that. Now we use parts because the selection was horizontal. If it would, had been vertical, we would use segments, which means that. The number of segments you choose will determine how many like heads will. If you if we would have used like three segs, it means that three heads will move together. So I'm going to show this. It's easier. So first we're going to use the same, do the same thing we just did uh, with n parts. So I'm going to pan these out outwards. Uh, and then we're going to type 4, hold on this button, choose the segs one, and then end segs uh, for segments, and then we're going to tilt this. So now we can see each row is behaving as each row is moving all together. So this is a nice position, I'm going to record that. Um, so, so yeah, you can b combine the, the, the different options here to create something very interesting and real fast as well. Um, now, we on both of these positions we use uh, asymmetrical, the asymmetrical option, which means that each end of the fanning will move to different directions. Uh, the symmetrical means that they will move to the same direction. So for instance, if usually you'd want to use the asymmetrical when panning because you want them to perhaps point to different directions, like outwards or inwards. But when tilting, perhaps you want both to move upwards, so you would use the symmetrical one. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, now there's also a nice setting if you get multiple groups you can select all of them like that and if we if you use the setting called group parts it means that it will fan it will apply the fan into each group so you, that means you can have different amounts of fixtures in each group and you know, it will fan between each group, so it's very nice. So right now it behaves just like you know four parts, but it's it's actually applying it the fan to each group. A very very nice tool. Um, so there's that. Um, now the mirror button basically just inverts the pan like that 
the old setting is behind the flip button so if you hold on shift you see the invert pan which they it does the same thing as mirror now the flip you'll see okay look at the fixtures so we're flipping they are going to point to the same physical point but not mechanically so if we go to output u heads channels dmx and then move we can see kind of the movement range so you will see that in the visualizer it will point to the same direction but not it will kind of be at another spot in the movement range like that okay so another way to to record positions is that if you go to plot view you can use focus on target focus hold or focus line to create a line or you know, like make them all point to the same place so I like to use the current position because it usually works the best although if you use the other one some heads might flip around I'm gonna show you how to you know quickly solve that if it would cause any problems so uh, but I'm gonna use the current position at the moment I'm gonna you know point into let's say a point in the middle and record that call it kind of mid I don't know so what I was talking about is if you select say one group here I'm gonna use the other setting so if I'm gonna if you if you, you can now see that two of the heads were flipping around so like if they just gonna be on a fixed point it isn't real a problem because I'm pointing to the same kind of physical po point and, but if you go to output you can see that two of the heads are here in the movement range and two others are over here so that could cause a problem let's say if you apply an FX let me quickly show you I mean they they move around the same physical point but not like mechanically so you see two heads are moving around over here and two are moving over here so the risk is that two some of the heads could potentially you know hit the barrier or the movement range and it'll look a bit funky I guess um, so to solve that you want to use the flip button so we're gonna the first two were flipping around so we can flip them back so you see they are using the negative tilt uh, the other two are using a positive tilt so we can just gonna flip them those around and if we go to output now we can see that they are all in the same kind of movement range or same place mechanically I should say uh, so yeah that just a heads up for that um, now I'm going to show you how to record a position out of FX so let's take the wall I'm gonna take the 90 and I'm gonna record in FX uh, so let's say let's take the 8 Lower size I'm going to record that I'm going to choose the group I'm going to record that and I'm going to make that a speed master so I'm going to go to function turn this to no and then yes so here's, here we got the FX and I'm going to activate it by go, pressing go then when I'm going to move it down you see they are slowing and now slowing down and now they are at a complete stop so let's just find something cool I guess so all right so what you want to do now is clear a programmer and, and then you're gonna select the heads and then you're gonna hold on shift and press active now you see they were moving a bit you know at the moment here uh, but that's because they are now they have taken in the values for the from the position position they just were and then they are kind of applying the effects on top of 
that so you, you can see if I bring that down so you see when we activated the channels they were in they were t like taking each value for the movement or for the position and if I bring this up they are kind of putting the effects based on that position but anyways you make them active and then just record a position so let's call that you know, spider or something cool whoops and if we press clear there's your position from the effect so that is a real nice way to quickly make a cool position I don't know if this is pretty cool but uh, <laughs> anyways so I think that covers most of the fun things um, for the position uh, if you got any questions feel free to ask and I'll try to respond uh, so thanks for watching